Now we'll have to have a look at the advanced play feature buttons. Essentially there's three buttons I want to cover in this little section. The sensor reverse, the key lock quartz and the scrub skip. So let's just start some transport. Now the sensor button essentially allows you to sensor out material by when the button is applied the audio track reverses whilst the button is held. Once you let go of the button it returns the playhead to the point in the track it would have got to had you not pressed the button and this allows you to actually sensor out bits of material so you can see I'm holding the button down it reverses when I release it I've actually now jumped forward two bars from where I was when I pressed the button the shifted feature of the sensor button and the shifted feature is in yellow text is the reverse function so any shifted feature obviously we hold down the shift button and then we press so you can see now that my track is going in reverse. As a warning, the LED flashes just to let you know that you are actually in reverse mode. And then to turn it the correct way again, just hold shift, press the button, and that releases it out of reverse mode. Next one, have a look at the key lock. Basically what the key lock does is it locks the pitch of the uh, frequency content of the music as you're doing a pitch bend. So I just deselect it for now and I use my pitch bend on my jog. You can hear the pitch of the music going up and down as I increase and decrease the tempo on the pitch bend. If I apply the key lock, the tempo will go up and down, but the pitch remains the same. So this allows us to jog in without actually altering the pitch and the harmonic content of the audio. The shifted feature of the key lock button is the quartz feature. Basically what the quartz feature does is allows you to quickly reset to zero any pitch offset you might have on a deck. So on my deck I'm going to set my pitch offset to the maximum plus eight and if I hold down the shift button and press the key lock you see that my pitch resets itself to zero. If I want to get back to where I was before I did that I simply just hold the shift down and press again and it will take me back to where I was allowing me to very quickly switch between the two tempos. Finally we'll have a look at the scrub skip button. By default when a deck is playing the jog wheel does pitch bend as we've already discussed. If I hit the scrub skip button the light will come on this allows me to very quickly scroll through a track and if we look in software at the stripe in the actual deck you can see the playhead, how quickly the playhead is moving along the track. This isn't really a performance tool, this is something that you do under queuing conditions.